Thank you once again this week for joining us. Welcome to week eight of the rundown. I'm Ron Burke. I'm Bethany Miller. We're more than halfway through the regular season. Teams working towards positioning themselves for a playoff run. Tonight was a windy one. Can you tell I got a little bit of wind burn? <laughs> a bit, yeah. oh, well, let's head to our first game <laughs> of the night out in Rio Rancho. Wind burn. Okay. Wind burn. It's new. Top six day matchup between the go. Rams hosting the Jaguars of Trisco Heritage. Both teams enter tonight. Only two losses of the season. Rams with the ball less than a minute in the first half. Throw a screen pass to Dominic Valencia breaks a few tackles, gets a nice gain setting them up. And then with this last second field goal, oh. Rams will go nice. into the half up 10 nothing. So the Jaguars get the ball in the third and they are driving. Quarterback Orlando Griego calls his own number for a nice gain here. Jaguars knocking on the door for a score later in the drive. Griego tries to pitch it, but the running back took his eyes off it. It's picked up by Xavier Provencio, who gets a really nice return until he's tackled. Maybe finally. Oh, he's riding him. Look at that. Here, the sideline there. Rams take over. And later in their own drive, Will Rio Rancho would give it to Race Ramirez for an easy peasy six points round. Yeah, untouched. Gives him the Jordan shoulder shrug. Ah. Rams beat the Jaguars tonight 37 14. Let's go to Community Stadium. We have Volcano Vista taking on Cibola in this matchup. A little handshake. Now let's ball hug. out. Hawks with the ball. Quarterback Elijah. Hanson faking the handoff. So good it lost our photographer for a second. It happens. Finally catches up, but the defense doesn't catch up. He takes it all the way. Hawks up 6 0. And then later in the first half, the Cougars back to punt, and it is blocked by Thomas Pettis. Good special teams play there. Gets picked up by Kevin Martinez for a nice return. All right, Kev. So the Hawks are in scoring territory, and then the Hawks will capitalize on the drive with a handoff to Michael Justice Smith the third. He is served. Volcano Vista takes down Cibola, 60 to 14. Woo, whooping there over to Wilson Stadium. One loss, Sandia coming off that big win over West Mesa in week seven, hosting El Dorado tonight. The wind will be a factor. Matadors leading 7 0 in the second quarter. Eagles, though, are on the move. Third and 10. Quarterback Brandon Alivas, he's looking to throw, scrambling in and out of the pocket. He finds John Paul Ludi there, who picks up a first down before he's tackled. Then just a couple plays later, Alivas, watch this round, hits the air again. This time, Josiah mm -hmm. Mitchell breaks. Not one. Not two. Nice move. Wow. He's in the end zone. Tackle into the end zone. El Dorado's on the board. But the two point conversion is no good. So they're still trailing 7 6 now. But after a stop by the Eagles, D. Olivas is back under center. Another pass, but deflected into the hands of Sandia's Preston Ricky. He takes it downfield before he's pushed out of bounds. And on fourth and 10, Sandia. But it's knocked loose. Cruz Rivera in the back of the end zone. Jacob Adcox does not come down with it. Ref says no touchdown. That's coverage by John Paul Ludi there. Doesn't matter though. Sandia. They'll explode in the second half tonight. Matadors defeat El Dorado 33-14. So now let's go to Milne Stadium. Los Lunas and Albuquerque High going head to head in a 6A district battle. Ron, this is the opening kickoff of the game. Tigers are back to receive. It's a line drive with the win. Takes a couple of bounces. It's Dominic Trujillo scooping it up. Look at those strides streaking down the sideline. And then watch this. A little high five. No, he didn't. <laughs> to Fabian Trujillo <laughs> no, as he crosses didn't. into the end zone. A little bit of <laughs> swagger. Los that. Lunas leads 7 0. Bulldogs would try to answer right away, but Tigers have all the momentum. Alberto Landeros Look is wrapped defense. up. Nowhere to go. Quick three and out by the Dogs offense and Los Lunas. Adds to their lead quickly. That's Emmy De La Torre breaking through tackles. Fine and pay dirt. Los Lunas rolls over Albuquerque High tonight. The Tigers win 54. Not the oh. Go Tigers. Now to Valencia. The Jaguars taking on the Rio Grande Ravens. We start in the second quarter. Ravens down 7 0. Their quarterback, Joaquin Tafoya, though, has his pass picked by Isaiah Rodriguez. And Ooh. he is on his way the other way. Gets a healthy return down the sideline before finally being pushed out of bounds. But the Jaguars going to work deep into Ravens territory. Takes just a couple plays, but the Jags are handed to Daniel Villegas. He'll slip making a cut, but you know what? Just falls right into the end zone for a 14-0 lead. Jaguars keep riding the hot hand. Villegas, watch him bounce this one outside, and then kick it up another gear right about here <laughs> and outrace the defense of the Whoa. end zone for a 20-0 clip. Valencia continuing to stick with the hot guy. Villegas threw a big hole up the middle this time. Wow. He'll stroll to the end zone for another touch. Valencia runs away with this one, 52 to nothing. Hit the Heisman on him. Now we head up to Santa Fe. The Demons having a hard time against the Clovis Wildcats tonight. Starting off this second half of play, it's Wildcats Jet Stone. And watch this. He's going to take it nearly 50 yards. Who needs teammates when he's got himself? Coming right at us. In the Jets, they lead. 
there with that score. Then although the Demons are down, they are not out yet. Quarterback Michael Abeta takes the handoff here. And he is going to keep it for himself. That play is good enough for a first down there. And Abeta would push this ball down into the red zone with a pass to Josh Gallegos, the wide receiver extending the play. Big clash happening at the sideline there as he falls into your living room. But Clovis rolls in this one. They win high scoring affair. Ooh, look at that, over 100 points. 62-42. Oh. Quick math, quick math. Good. I was pretty good in math. <laughs> Did pretty well on the SAT. <laughs> Over to Pewaukee Valley, the Elks hosting the Highland Hornets. Hornets starting things off quickly, but getting stopped by that Elks defense. This was a really good defensive battle early on. A sack on quarterback Alex Lopez to start this thing in the first quarter. The defense being displayed on both sides. The Hornets down to back with their own sack against Pewaukee's Ethan Malloy. Now, both teams not giving a lot of room to work here. The Elks forcing a fumble here. Hornets would recover, but they can't do anything with that possession. And so then we go near the end of the first quarter. And the Elks, Jonah Villegas down the sideline. They give chase. He's taken down at the 40. Some scoring late in this one, though, as Highland wins it by a count of 28 to 6.